Hi everyone. You may already know that a Torah scroll and the parchment that goes in tefillin and the parchment that goes in mezuzah is written by a specially trained person, a sofer. And a sofer doesn't use a ballpoint pen or a pencil or a paintbrush to do their work. Uh, they use a, a special quill made out of a reed. And uh, the Talmud talks about the reed in a really special way and holds it up as really a metaphor for uh, an important aspect of what it means to be human or at least the midah, a quality, a personal trait that we should be striving for. The Talmud says that we should be like a reed and not like a cedar. If you think about a reed, a reed can blow in the wind. It has flexibility. Um, it can take the wind and then pop back up. Whereas a cedar, if the wind is hard enough, the cedar will bend and then break. And the Talmud warns us against being inflexible, wants us to be flexible and uh, supple in a certain way. And especially in this month of Elul, when we are working hard to examine ourselves, to ask for forgiveness, and to um, uh, perhaps uh, forgive others if they come to us asking for forgiveness, the uh, model of the reed is an important one, that we shouldn't be inflexible. We shouldn't be unwilling to bend to uh, grant forgiveness or be unwilling to ask for forgiveness when we have harmed someone else. There needs to be a flexibility in the way we interact with people so that um, we can continue relationships, heal relationships, and move forward into the new year. Um, this image of the reed can be used in a variety of ways, but I hope as you move through the month of Elul and we continue to prepare for Rosh Hashanah and the Amim Noraim, that you'll think of yourself as a reed and uh, to be flexible like a reed and not like a cedar. Shabbat Shalom.